All right, hello YouTube, and welcome back to my low rank through master rank with Gunlands playthrough. Uh, last time we finished our armor after a little difficulty that we plan on using for the rest of the playthrough. As you can see, we have nothing on our wish list, which means we're in what I'd like to call checklist mode, where it's pretty self explanatory. We're just marking off. Or just hunting what we have left to hunt in the game. Which I just did I just checked is forty-four hunts. <laughs> yeah. Forty-four hunts we have left to go. So we better get to it then. First up. Wow. That's that tier, huh? But first up I guess is Aurora Sound Mechanics. I'm just going alphabetically. Assuming that column I made is alphabetical. It's in whatever order that column is in, in my spreadsheet. <laughs> That's gonna be a three, right? Right? Yeah, okay. Uh, but, by the way, I do use followers and master rank. How it works, I get none here, I get one here, I get two here. Pretty simple. Since Aurora Somnicanth is a 3, we get 1 follower. I always bring Hanoa because Hunting Horn is great and she heals. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it for that. Let's get our meal and head into the hunt. But before we do, if you watch this on YouTube and you end up enjoying, think about liking and subscribing. If you want to hang out live whenever I do these, I do these every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7.30 Eastern over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash techman. Link is also in the description, so come on by, hang out, hopefully have a good time. Let's get on this first hunt. Um, I like to be transparent about this. I do have a mod that lets me do this instead of having to go get health spear birds. That's it. I like to just put that up up front, you know, not hide it at all. I mean, I don't even use it until master rank, so. I mean, like, it's there, I just don't use max potions until master rank. Or, actually, either of the armor skin or demon drug, either. Yeah, well, let's do this. Really? Wow, not even a knockback, huh? Cool. That works. Okay, that does knock me back, so I think if I I can maybe block the first hit, though, maybe. It's probably tight. Probably not even worth trying, honestly. Okay. Boom, boom. Boom. Nothing. Okay, yeah. Eh, it's fine. That's another reason why I'm kind of glad I don't, uh, you know, have a bullet barrage spam build. Because it doesn't really matter if I have Ice Blade. Okay, everyone's here. Um, okay. I'd rather take... Get... Hmm... 
Yeah, Gossarag. Yeah, I'd rather take Gossarag. Well, that does take... What? Why? Why did it switch? Why is it switching? I don't want... Okay, whatever. Did that actually hit? Sound like it did. Boom, boom. No. Oh, wow. Nope, that did work. Nope. I'm shocked that that worked. Boom. Slap. Boom, boom. Okay. Let's get the cooldown off. Yeah, that speed is kind of insane, at how fast you can do that. Damn. Is that the fastest you can do that? I'd have to imagine, right? I actually don't know if there's, like, any place where it's, like, shorter time to use or anything. You'd think I would fi have figured that out by now, but I'm not sure. That feels shorter, though. I will say that. Okay. Oops. I accidentally pressed both. Nope. I forgot you can do that. How about no? How about a full burst? That sounds better. Okay, yeah. Boom. Boom, boom. Oh, alright, bye, I guess. Oh, that's a lot. I guess we did have all three monsters here. I don't know if Legombi went down or not. When we were do doing the Punisher or not, but... Alright. That up. That's fine. I'll take the the buff. Ooh. All right. Full combo, maybe? Is this the 
I'm going for it. Probably shouldn't. Still am. Oh, do you have... Do you have super armor during the, like, reload? Or was I just out of range? Because I feel like I've been pretty close sometimes and still got the, uh... The reload off. Alright. Pretty good stuff. Can't complain. Other than maybe about the monster itself. <laughs> Although I think Auroracanth is better than Somnicanth, just because... Ice is less annoying than sleep. But honestly, those kind of things in general, though, statuses are less annoying than, well, are more annoying than just damage. Ice Blight's kind of whatever. In a weird way, I kind of miss uh, using Resuscitate to kind of counter and actually make Ice Blight a little a slight buff, though. That was always interesting in World. <laughs> Alright, so that was... Aurorus and Omnicanth. It's going down the list here. Next up, Barioth. Not to be confused with Baroth. Which are actually nothing alike, but their names are extremely similar. Alright, um... So, Barioth. Go for the arms. Then the hunt becomes a million times easier. Probably a three? Yep, I thought so. Now one thing I'm not sure about is if I'm gonna want to use support hunters. In my, like, playthrough of wilds. Like, cause it, I'm gonna do it solo, just cause I usually play Monster Hunter solo, or like at least my initial playthrough is like solo. So like, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'll do about that, cause they do actually scale, unlike this game. But also, I think it'll depend what how they scale. Because if I say if it scales to like two people, I think that's fine, and I'd probably still use it. But if it like probably three or four, probably not. I think that's a bit much for me personally. Alright, got some damage there. Yeah, I didn't think that reached. Not what I wanted. I wanted a back up. I pressed forward a little too long. Okay, so that knocks back. I probably should have expected that. That's a pretty strong move.
I can't see what's happening. Thank you for coming over to me, though. Yeah, I don't know why I tried that. In no world would that have worked. <laughs> okay. Why did it have to stagger there? That's like... Prime, you know, nice. Alright, I'm gonna go for the combo on the arm there. I was trying. That's gonna break the other arm, right? No? This might? Oh, that already did. Alright, cool. Well, that's about as much as you can ask for from the start of a Baryoth hunt. Breaking both of the arms. That's... That's very good for the rest of the hunt. I wish it was that easy for every weapon. Nice. Oh, you're... Teeth are already done. Or your fangs, I guess I should say. Yeah, they're already gone. That reaches surprisingly far. That's why I usually just at this point try to just not even like try to counter that and I just dodge it and counter attack. Now that one I should have. Okay. I'll be honest. I want to try this. I don't know if this will work. Okay, well, it kind of did. I don't know that that's consistent, though. I wouldn't... I don't know if I want to consistently try doing that. So... But... It just it kind of happened to work there. But I can definitely tell it's not consistent. So I'll, I'll just do Wyvern Rides. And then go with the knockdown. I mean, hell, I get the full combo potentially anyway. Actually, no, I'd, as long as I have... Or at least from the Hail Cutter can get 
a wyvern fire back up, I've guaranteed the full combo. Now the the bullet barrage afterwards, no. All right, good stuff. Oh. I'm having a sale because it's better than nothing. Is it though? Shall we? Is it better than nothing? Are you sure about that, Kagero? Right, that's your name, right? Oh, oh, that's the guy in here, right? All right, that's his name. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one that. Yeah, that's the one that is in the Amatsu uh, quest. Yeah. Um, okay. I forgot that they were, like, actually different people. I'll be honest. Which is kind of weird, because one wears a mask, the other one doesn't. Or cloth thing, I don't... Alright. Next up, we got Baroth. Did I really not hunt a Baroth? Yeah, I guess I didn't use their... Yeah, huh. I'm pretty sure I used Baroth stuff in both low and high rank, but I just skipped it in... Right, I skipped it in Master Rank because the Daimyo and Hermitar stuff was insane. Like, if you forget what the Daimyo and Hermitar stuff has, like, it is about as good as you can want from a starting set for a weapon that, like, for Gunlance... Like, well, it's like, to start, you get full guard, you, get, you at least get guard up, you get one point in load shells. By this point, you would be able to have load shell decorations anyway, and guard up decorations, like, that's just an insane starting set. I heard a bear off, which I think just had guard. I don't even think it had anything else, so I can't remember because I also didn't use it in this playthrough. I might end up using it for Lance because I don't need like, you know, the reload and the load shells, obviously, so maybe I'll end up wanting it then. I believe that will be in two playthroughs, though. Which, by that point, I'll probably be gearing up for Wilds. Oh god, what playthrough is going to get interrupted? That's kind of my question right now, is what playthrough is going to get interrupted by Wilds? Unless I start something, like, different for a bit. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll start something different for, uh, like, just to, you know, not interrupt the playthrough. Because I think interrupting a playthrough late, you know, deep into Master Rank is not a great thing to have happen. because then that usually means uh, you know you're fighting elder dragons and risen elders sometimes with uh, you know half knowing your weapon and they're already hard enough as is especially since I'll also ha you know be used to using wilds controls and combos and stuff by that point Maybe with every weapon? I don't know. I'm still not sure what my initial playthrough is going to be. 
Whoops. I went for Wyvern Fire for some reason. I mean, this is a free bullet barrage opportunity. Like, just straight up. That's all that move is. Fair. All right. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Okay, I'm playing like an idiot. I need to stop. Thanks. For bailing me out there. Did I just not get that second bubble? Because I feel like you should just get it if you pop it. But, you know, whatever. Let's get protective polish back up. Oh, okay. Come on. Nice. Alright. Let's get that back off cooldown. Reset protective polish. And get this full thing going. Nice. Yeah, see, that that's an insane combo. Just straight up. Alright, any bugs? Any bugs? Um, nope. No bugs. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Cool. Hold on. Oh. Let's see. I guess anyone watching this, I mean, this is like a random part in the play. Like, this is part probably like, what, 20 something, half an hour into this random part. But if you're watching, like, what would be an interesting thing to do for Wilds? Like, I'm just kind of thinking every part I'll maybe do a new weapon or every stream, maybe. Probably be better to do every string stream. And so I could choose it before the next stream. So it'd be every two, like, recordings. Every two parts. So then I can farm for the new weapon off stream. To get it up to par. Because keeping every weapon up to, like, up, up to pace might be a bit much. But if I just have to do one weapon at a time... 
that'll be a bit more uh, doable. I mean, it's not hard, but it's more of a time commitment more than anything. But I don't know. Just a thought. Because, like, I want to play through with, like, every weapon, just, like, going back and forth. So then I can do these types of playthroughs once the expansion comes out, too. And once that's done. So then I've never done a full playthrough with with any of the weapons. You know, I don't, just, I don't know. Next up is Garengolm. I mean, I've already used every weapon in Wilds, so unlike this and World, there's no being 100% blind anymore. Like, I've used every weapon, so, like, I can't go play... I can't go play Wilds... And have like low rank be I've never used the weapon before, I have no idea what it does. Or I haven't used it in this game, I don't know what it does. Cause that's the whole reason I started these playthroughs anyway, was to uh use the weapon in the game. Just like in general. And then experience the progression that the weapon mains would. At least for the most part. It's going to be a bit different because I can do things out of order a little bit, you know, so on and so forth, but. It's more for me to just be able to, at the end of the playthrough, be like, yeah, I, I know how to play the weapon. Might not be, you know, the best at it or anything, but I can use it enough, you know. Really? Damn. Okay. Nothing, okay. That's cool. Yeah. You gonna yeah, you're you're getting your I tried to counter the roar. Does give tremor? Nope, nothing. Ah, it's fine. Oh, there's Volvodon. Really? What the hell? What was it? Oh, did he, did he do his tongue attack thing? Is that what happened? He, like, tongue out, went through Garen Goleman and on, and, like, hit me with it? I think that's what happened. I was very confused how I got hit there. 
You know, he, I think he did this move here. Which is very good. I don't even know what this forward... Oh, this forward is that thing. Okay. That move kind of sucks on every monster that has it. So... Not planning on using that. Second one always misses pretty much. Boom, boom. Going for it. Well, at least I got my wyvern fire back. Nope, I tried. Oh, that's a free one. was annoying the hell man he couldn't even see it either that's the annoying thing about that he couldn't even he didn't even know that he just barely dodged that there you go all right Good stuff. Like I always say, <laughs> if I didn't cart, good enough. That's a free. That's a freebie. Flap. Oh. I don't know if that hit behind me or if that's an unblockable. That's a little unfortunate spot, honestly. And it is a KO, which means it's a longer knockdown. Oof. I was going to do a wyvern fire after that anyway, but cool. I don't know why, because I'm pretty sure I literally didn't gain an offensive skill. I don't know why this field... You know, it's probably just because I'm going back and fighting weaker monsters. Now I think about it, but it feels a lot better than like the old build. But like I said, I'm pretty sure I literally didn't gain an offensive skill. 
think the only skill I actually gained was constitution. Like... And ballistics doesn't do anything for me. I guess I have resentment, maximum might. Critical element doesn't do anything. I had two handicraft before, so I actually lost that. Razor sharp is whatever. An element exploit doesn't do anything. So I didn't even gain offensive skills, but it feels a lot stronger. I do think that just boils down to, uh, I'm just hunting weaker stuff now. Which is whatever, you know, that's how it goes. I don't think I have a sp hmm. Could I use an extra three slot? Because I know I have spare. I have at least one spare one slot. So the one, the two and one slot, like the one part of that, does not matter. Huh. Okay. Thank you for your patience. Oh. Like, I am literally only using a two slot on this. Like, I could put the one slot. Well, actually, I'm not even using the one slot, but. Like, does that get me anything? I don't know that that gets me anything because all of my two or higher slots are filled like I don't think any of the skills I have right now have a better three slot version like because you have you know the elemental moves I already have the guard so that doesn't that uh, help me at all. Handicraft is already a three slot. Yeah, I don't think any of this actually... Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Kind of sucks, but... Actually... Yeah, no, that doesn't... There's no way to gain, like, make one of those a two slot or anything. So, that is not a thing I can do, right? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, then. I mean, there's potential for that, possibly, but I, I doubt it. All right. All right, I thought I hunted you, but I didn't at one point. Oh, we got Gossarag now. Definitely not the person I talked to. Um, all right. How's upgrading my armor doing? What can I do now? I have six of those. Well, I at least can max it out. So, what, that's... Two more pieces? Yeah, I need to max out two more pieces. And this has a lot further to go, so... Oh, man. That's just unfortunate. What was I... Right, Gosserag. Probably a three, right? That seems about right. Yeah. <sighs> Let's do it. Shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be.
doing this one. All right, protective polish. I believe you roar right away, so. Gonna, nope, couldn't even get the uh, counter. Ah, do you combo off of that? That'd be kind of, okay, you don't. That'd be kind of dumb if you did. Fair. I'm pretty sure I block all this just fine, so I'm literally just gonna do this. Oh, or just don't have it hit me. That works too. Not gonna say no to that. Nice. Boom, boom. Gonna switch into this. Go for it, anyway. Okay, so you do have some super armor, apparently. I guess. I don't know, seems inconsistent. Not gonna rely on it. Would rather just, you know, not get hit during it. Who would have thought that'd be the better option? What a concept. Alright. Oh, good timing. That's a long cooldown on that move. How about no? And a... Wow. Nice. Don't know what part I broke, but I'll take it. Nope, I'm just gonna do the Punisher. I think if I went for that, I would've, wouldn't have gotten it. Not that it really does that much damage. Maybe I should've. <laughs> okay, I guess it does a little damage, but... Eh. So I think whenever I do a Wyvern Rye, I should actually switch to blue. Just in case I can get a uh, Bullet Barrage afterwards. Hmm. Interesting idea. That might be... Pretty good idea. Because, like, right there, I probably could have gotten the bullet barrage, like, perfectly, uh, landed, or at least mostly. If I just, if I was in blue to start. But I had to switch into it, so. Not land as well. I'm just gonna do protective polish. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm behind it. That was very bright. Ow. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I thought that swung back. And I'm not used to the master rank moves at all. Okay, that one swings. Okay. Yeah. Boom, boom. Paralysis is fine. That gives me enough time for that. Gets me a wyvern ride, which I did just say I should stay in blue. Assuming I, although I don't think I can actually get the full combo. I'll go for a full burst into a bullet barrage. That's fine. All right, good stuff. All right, let's get protective polish up. Nope. Yeah, it does do a little bit of something. Nope. You're not done, though. Did remember that move. Ah, I don't know why I did that. Okay. Oh, I have blue skull. Cool. <laughs> Didn't even realize. Probably not needing that. Okay, so blue, let's redo protective polish, and we'll do a uh, boom into okay. Yeah, so it's not like a hundred percent of the time, but like it's not a hundred percent consistent, but it's. You know, there's ways to make it happen, even if they can move around sometimes before you get it off. No, no, it works. Works for me, at least. Better wake-up option than just doing a wyvern fire. Like, just objectively. Oh no, I might use two, both of my wired bugs. Like, okay. And... Alright, next up is a great baggy. The only monster that does not have a, uh, like, Master Rank Great Baggy just, just, does, just doesn't have a quest, which is by itself. You have to do an anomaly quest if you only want to hunt it. It's weird. Like, no event quests, no optional, nothing. The only other thing I can think of is, like, in high rank, Arzuros only has a capture. 
That's the only high rank R0 quest. Oh, I forgot to do that last time. Whoops. Alright, what we got? A double Shagaru? Hell yeah. That's a lot of... That's a lot of pretty good material right there. Alright. Hey and let's just throw all this stuff in here. Good enough. I still, though, even at this point in the game, I still like to not use, like, gems and mantles and stuff, if at all possible. It's because, uh, you know, never know when just, like, a random, Ooh, I want to use this, comes up, and then make an entirely new build. And I don't feel like farming for more mantles or anything. So, like I said, Great Baggy does not have a just regular quest. Like, it, it would be here, because, you know, I got all the other ones. Like, there's a Great Baggy, but it's with a Legombi. Like, nothing. Nothing there, it's definitely not a two. You got all the, all the Raptors there, though. But, like... Nothing. Nothing by itself. Same with event quests. Like, all this stuff is way higher tier than, you know, a great baggie. But yeah, like, nothing there. Only thing you got is going in here. Going into here. Hunting this. And because it's, it's an anomaly quest, I, I bring two followers. It's an anomaly quest. Like, that's post-game stuff. Like, that stuff doesn't start... Like, you can't even do that stuff until after you fight Malzano, I'm pretty sure, right? If I remember right? I mean, that's an Elder Dragon, so... Yeah. I feel like that's fair. Takes way longer than it needs to. I'll tell you that much. But because it is an anomaly quest, I am gonna do this. Protective Polish. Boom, boom. Wyvern Fire. Boom. Okay. Nope. 
Oh no. I was about to say, like, I got all these people here, and not one of them was going to wake me up. Like, come on now. And there he goes. I'm going to go for a bullet barrage, just because. Wyvern Fire was almost up, but... Eh. Alright, let's get Protect to Polish back. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> uh, it's worth a shot. Alright. Didn't you remember if I do get a wyvern ride, go to blue, scroll before I do it. Just for the potential of getting wyvern fire into uh, bullet barrage. Famous any sleep as well, obviously, but that's always already kind of been my go-to wake up anyway. Oh, it was a it was a small baggie. I was like, how the hell did I just get hit by that? Ooh, we're, gonna, we're about to get another down. Nice. This should be a full combo. Yeah. Nice. Alright, let's go protect the polish back since he can't see anyway. We get a KO now? Alright. And bullet barrage. Ah, I missed. Damn. I knew I should have backed up. Should have evaded backwards. On someone. Okay, fine. 
And that wasn't even that much damage, actually. Alright. Thank you. Alright, well, at the very least, I now have Wyvern Fire Up. Oh, nice. Okay. We might kill him here. Because this is going to be a Wyvern Fire in the Bullet Barrage. Especially since he doesn't, he came and roar us out of it. Oh, wow. He's not dead, though. Damn. Wow. I am actually, like, shocked. He's gotta be close, though. Uh, I guess maybe not. Just now that I think about it, health pools for anomaly monsters are friggin' dumb. I mean, that's why Grey Baggy has lasted, like, seven, eight minutes. There he goes. Jeez. <sighs> I would like the next end game to not have just inflated health pools. Oh yeah, that's also a mod I have that just makes me not have to farm as much for anomaly stuff. Because if I did not have that, I would never do anomaly stuff ever. Because you're lucky to get like four of a material sometimes, and you need like ten. <laughs> Especially if you do like, uh, like, if you're running an elemental-based weapon, you know, like a dual blades or switch axe or anything, that, no. I would never touch that in a million years. Let's get this stuff first, I guess. I'll be seeing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. Alright. That mark off great baggy. I did. Cool. Alright, well, that is gonna do it for this one. If you watch this on YouTube, hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see you next time. See ya.